Hi, I'm Ryan Tripe for Inside Xbox, and we're here at Treyarch to give you a peek at the studio itself and also take a look at the developers, what it's like for them to work on a game like Call of Duty World at War. Now, do yourself a personal favor, because these guys are a little nutso about Nazi zombies. Keep a sharp eye out for little details here and there. You might learn something new. Let's take a look. Here's our reception area, and this is where we like to brandish a lot of, uh, a lot of the awards that we've um, sort of acquired over the years. Uh, we have a really long track record in the game industry, the Call of Duty franchise specifically. Uh, over in this wing is actually where, this is where DLC is made. This is where Map Pack 3 was, uh, was built. The uh, studio has over 250 game developers in the areas of audio, art, animation, design, engineering, production, operations, and test. And uh, we're making multiple games all the time. So we have some of our testers in this pen here. Um, they work night and day uh, testing out the, the MP maps, uh, a lot of work on the zombies that really hammer that out. Um, uh, they do a great job. So for any given feature that we'll have in development at any given point, I'm looking at that feature um, at, at a broad stroke of how it will work with the rest of the game. So if you take something like a kill streak development effort, um, I'll go through and, and look at the feature at a 360 degree angle. So what is it like to play? What are the controls? What does it sound like? How is the art impacting that? And most importantly, how that feature impacts other features in the game. Um, along here we have some of our, of our central tech guys. We have our tech director's office. Here's our executive producer, Jason Blundell's office. Um, and, uh, and he sort of directs uh, the production of all of our DLC, um, uh, Map Pack 3 included. Over here, we have our production bullpen. Uh, this is where our, our producers are going to be working. So one of the really neat experiences uh, that we had was there was there was debate whether or not you could actually fire a light machine gun, which is a machine gun typically you'd find uh, mounted to a vehicle or on sandbags with a bipod, if you could actually run around and fire one from the hip. Uh, so what we did was, uh, to settle the argument, is we went out to Las Vegas, picked up a 30 cal machine gun, wrapped a wet rag around the barrel. There's literally no place to put your hand. We had ammo draping over our arms, and we're, f we're firing this weapon from the hip. It looked like a scene out of Predator. I mean, it was totally awesome. It was a lot of fun. And, and that's actually how we made the determination whether or not we could do it. So this is where the magic happens uh, with the audio department. All right, so the headshot ping sound that you hear in MP is actually a hammer being hit on top of a, uh, of a helmet. Can you grab the helmet? It's, hang it's hanging up outside. So this is the sound of your head getting smashed in multiplayer, uh, courtesy of our senior sound designer, Gary Spinrad, who got the brilliant idea one day to just take this authentic helmet that's probably been through uh, a lot worse, actually, <laughs> and just beat the crap out of it with a big hammer. And then I think he mixed that with celery breaking, so you get this kind of disgusting ping and, you know, it's, you've played it before, you, you know what it sounds like. What's funny, during uh, the production of World of War, we actually brought in Brian Tui, our audio director, we brought his dog in, and we had the, the dog in the, uh, in the recording studio um, trying to record barking for the dogs for multiplayer. Thanks, Trevor, for taking the time to show us the studio. And now I know so many of the community members believe they have found all the Easter eggs there are to find. But let me assure you, Treyarch says you're not even close. So I hope you paid close attention to what you just saw. Thanks so much for watching Inside Xbox.